So we're going to talk about how we can solve a quadratic graphically. So you know that means we're going to be looking at graphs. All right, so the first thing, let's review what an x-intercept is. So an x-intercept, we know, has to cross the x-axis. So here's our x-axis. Here's our line. The x-intercept is right here at 1, 0. We're going to circle the x-intercepts for this one. Here's the x-axis. Here's our graph. It crosses over here and here. Here's our x-axis. We're looking for the x-intercepts. This one has a ton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one has none. It doesn't cross the x-axis at all. So a quadratic equation is an equation whose exponent, highest exponent is 2 highest. So here, our biggest exponent is 1. So that's not quadratic. Here, the biggest is 2. Yep, this is quadratic. Here, the biggest is 3. Not quadratic. Here, the biggest is 2. Quadratic. Here, there's no exponent. Here's tricky. If I actually multiplied these together, I would get x squared plus 3x minus 10. So this is actually a quadratic. Quadratic graphs all make the same type of shape. So they either make happy faces or they make sad faces. Both of these shapes are called parabolas. This parabola has two zeros. This one in the middle has one zero. And the one at the end has no zeros. What is a zero? A zero is the same thing as the x-intercept. Parabola crosses the x-axis. A zero is the same thing as an x-intercept. You can see that a zero, there are two zeros here. This one has a one zero. This one has no zeros. It doesn't cross the x-axis at all. What is a root? This parabola has two roots. This one has one root, and this one has no roots. So what's a root? A root is the same thing as a zero and an x-intercept. You can see this has two zeros, has two roots, one root, no roots. Finally, this graph has two solutions. This has one solution, this has no solution. The solution, the same thing, it's a zero, root, and x. So oh, the three words that mean x-intercept, we just saw one of them is solution, root, and a zero. All of them are asking you to look at the x-axis and see where the parabola crosses.